ISIS, the badass warriors of the Middle East, are known for striking fear into the hearts of man. Now they want to recruit you with... <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another interesting video for you guys today. Now, before I get into anything regarding this video, as usual, I do want to let you all know that the article in its entirety will be provided in the description down below for everybody to take a look at just in case you guys are interested. Do you guys know what is funny to me? Morally bankrupt people who promote a morally bankrupt ideology, in this case it is Islam. We see how dangerous this ideology is, yet there are people within it who still want to paint a false picture just so they can have the opportunity to show it to the world. They do this with any number of dishonest tactics. One of these tactics caught my attention pretty much right away, and that is why I felt motivated to share this with you guys. So let's get started here. Now, typically when we think of cats and honeybees, we think of them as being somewhat gentle. I mean, sure, you can get stung, bitten, and scratched, but these species do tend to arouse the interest of a lot of people. That is why ISIS themselves have taken them up. Check this shit out, guys. The terrorist group has published a photo of one of its members cuddling a kitten and images of honeybees as a new way to lure more people into joining the group. The latest issue of The Beak magazine shows a different angle of the terrorist group. ISIS has been threatening the West with terrorist attacks and is considered a very violent group around the world. An article entitled Contemplate the Creation, published in the latest issue of The Beak magazine, shows a militant named, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce his name guys, in deep thought while on guard duty in Syria. The article says a cat approached the militant and jumped in his lap. The piece went on to offer honeybees as supposed proof of creation. <laughs> the magazine, which is periodically published by ISIS, has been trying to soften the group's image by showing photos of laughing children, hugging militants, and other emotional images. In the meantime, ISIS continues its usual chronicle of atrocities around the world. The use of softer imagery is common in ISIS propaganda aimed at Muslims. Shiraz Maher, Deputy Director of the International Center for the Study of Radicalization at King's College London, told The Independent, Although we have grown accustomed to the ultraviolence of ISIS, videos and images of that nature are only well known because their shock value makes them viral, he said. This is a great pile of garbage to me, guys. Here is why. There is nothing soft or gentle about this group of delusional people. I mean, would any of you have dinner with Ted Bundy if he offered you flowers and candy? <laughs> Do any of you want to go out on a date with me? Come on. I got flowers and candy. <laughs> Now, we can actually see through the smoke and mirrors. We know better. Unfortunately, there are going to be people that are still going to buy into this nonsense. This ideology promotes that everything is wonderful. One would get 72 women in the afterlife that have never had sex. Most of everything that I have seen is not wonderful, it is not peaceful, and it is not understanding. In reality, a lot of innocent people are dying, and for what? Absolutely nothing. Most of everything that I have seen is about death and destruction. I guess the question would be, when will it end? Will it end when these people start realizing that passion for their fellow human beings is far more important? Sure, but getting them there is going to be a whole other story, especially when Islam has a tight grip on society as we know it. We see this everywhere, guys. I have a message for you Muslims out there. The first step to solving a problem is simply recognizing that there is one. I basically want to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching this video. Now, if you are interested in supporting the channel, a link to my Patreon will be in the description. If you are only interested in a one-time donation, my PayPal will be in the description as well. If you are new here and you like what you see, subscribe to the channel for future videos. If you are interested in following me on Twitter, a link will be in the description. 
If you are interested in finding me on Facebook, a link will be in the description for that. Now that that is out of the way, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons, the person who made my channel banner, the person who made my intro, and the person who provides the background music for me.